Hey everybody, it's your pal Mike Zombie, and this week we're going to talk about Two Hours from 2012. It's a short zombie film on YouTube. Mick Pierce sent this to me, and I thought, well, okay, I'll watch it. It's a shitty little thing that I'll get done. It's 26 minutes long. It'll be dumb. I'll get over it, and I can move on and leave a nice quick review, which is helpful this week. Because right now it's 12.14 a.m. on Saturday. That's right. The podcast will be out in a few hours. And apparently in my house it's, hey, it's Friday night. It's okay to leave Mike sleeping, sitting up like an asshole in front of his computer. uh, Slumped over to the side like he's fucking totally stroked out. And the two hours uh, clip is up on the uh, the screen on his computer. And we're just going to let him sleep. And maybe he wakes up and gets it done in time. Boo. And that's what's happened today. So the good thing is, this is a 26-minute clip, so how long can most of my reviews run about 16 minutes? Today is going to be incredibly shortened compared to that. Two hours is not a shitty little zombie film like I thought, initially before I'd seen it. I started to watch it, and right away I was like, whoa, okay, this looks good. In fact, the image quality on this is fantastic. It was shot with a Canon T2i, which... Just goes to show if you if you get a good SLR and you dial it in and the white balance is just right and you try to keep it steady and use it, it's an amazing camera. You're going to watch this because I'm going to prompt you to please watch this. It's on YouTube. There's no reason not to. Like when I reviewed Rambach, I said, this is an hour long. This is great. Give me an hour of good zombie action. We fucking cut it. Cut out all the bullshit. This is even less. This is a 26-minute clip, and it's moving nearly the whole time, and it's engaging. Now, according to what was published here on YouTube, I'll read it to you. A nameless survivor is bitten and infected with a virus. A beautiful gift to the world. Interesting. With only two hours, because the progression start to finish is two hours on this virus, with only two hours to find the missing survivors, he must move quickly before the virus spreads too far. And that's all we get. Now, the survivor, if I'm remembering right, is played by Josh Merrill. He's also the writer, producer, co-producer, I'm sorry, and he does the sound. And it starts off with a guy laying next to a girl who's beautiful, and he's talking about her and how it's the dream And it doesn't make sense, but she's his dream and she's the nightmare. And she's like, and they're in a house hanging out. They're laying down watching TV or something. And we hear this boom outside and she jumps up. Help, help. What was that noise? And it's the zombies. Story wise, not going to lie to you. This made very little sense to me. He gets bit trying to save her. And he knows he has two hours to get to the survivors. And we don't really understand why, at least they don't make clear or didn't make clear to me, why it matters if he gets to the survivors. He thinks there's some kind of cure there. And there's no reason that we see for him to even think this at all. So he goes running down this path, which includes train tracks and into the woods over a bunch of ruins, trying to find these survivors. And frankly, I'm thinking the whole time, even if you get it, because we see he's changing. His skin's darkening, he's losing control, he's losing some of his motor function, his eyes are starting to bleed a little tiny bit. And I'm thinking, even if you find them, they're going to kill you because you're infected. And we follow this guy, and I wish he had a name. I wish I could give him a name, because in this this case, I would remember his name. And, well, see, we reach this odd spot now to where I don't want to say too much, because I want you to see this, and it's only a 26-minute clip, and I you really run the risk of ruining it by explaining too much more than this. What I want to say about this clip is simple. The, the, the good points. One, it's very brief. And turns out more and more, I'll take a very brief, really well-made thing over a long, pretty good-made thing. This is a lot like Rambach in that example. It looks fantastic. This looks better than well any zombie film I've seen since The Dead. <laughs> That's like the old staple. It's so easy to go back to it. But this looks better than anything I've seen in quite a while. It's beautiful, the way it was shot. It does a lot of, uh, like, chest cam on this guy, showing as he's fighting zombies. What a great idea, as he's using his pistol and shooting. And the special effects in this, just mind-boggling for a couple of people on a short clip. This looks so much better than so much that I've seen in the last year. It's crazy. So, my hat's off to... Michael Bailiff and crew and Josh Merrill and crew. These guys, special effects, it says here was done by Alan Bradford. Alan, you are amazing, sir. 
this clip everybody needs to see. The the notes are going to be, the link's going to be in the show notes, obviously. But you could go to YouTube and search for two hours short zombie film. And the username is two hours the movie. And they've got five videos up. This, I'm blown away. It's only got 48,000 views. That is a fucking shame. Because this clip is really good. Now, the story doesn't make that much sense to me. And... I don't know. My question is going to be, after you've seen it, maybe you can enlighten me. What was the whole point of the girl? Was the girl even real? How much of her was a dream? Because he sets off saying it's a dream. And it kind of blends into reality. And in the end, was that really her? Because the way she walks away, to me, it's like a fleeting dream, a memory of happiness. It's not a person. You'll understand when you watch the film. Or you me won't understand. I didn't get that part of it. But I loved the special effects. I loved the fighting. I loved the combat. I loved the way all the zombies reacted. I loved the special effects. The blood flares were really good. Maybe a little bit, a little heavy on the blood flares hitting the lens. But God, man, this was this was a clip that kept me engaged. This 26 minutes went by fast. Really did. I want to see more zombie films like this. And I hope these guys get some money so they can make a full length feature. Or hey, maybe pull a Rambach and make a one hour feature. I'd love that. I'd love to see what these guys could do with more time. My only gripe, uh, maybe aside from the story kind of not not letting me know in such a short time why we're on this journey. Because we know he's going to die from the start. He has to. I, we know that immediately. My only gripe, and looking at the... Uh, comments here on youtube a lot of other people agreed the sound the narr it's just simply mostly a narration done by josh merrill and his voice is kind of unique at first i really thought man i'm listening to if you ever listen to like howard stern or opie and anthony now you've heard peter chris the former drummer from kiss making the rounds and he, josh kind of speaks like peter chris does he's got the same I guess the same cadence, the same rap going on. and But the way he pronounces the word survivor really distracted me because the point, he's going insane, kind of. His brain is being taken over. So he keeps repeating things to remind himself of what he's doing. And he's got to get to the survivors, but he pronounces the word survivor. So he's like, I've got to get to the survivors how many survivors are there that I, I think it's just he's just saying it the way it was said that he heard it growing up in his neighborhood but it really sounded way off to me and it did distract me after because you hear it so much i find about survivors what the fuck is he talking about um but still that didn't pull me out of this film you guys know i get pulled out pretty easy on some stupid shit fuck i think i've done a 20 minute review of a 26 minute clip i'm gonna stop okay and because this needs to be the Berdinsky rating system scale needs to be applied to this this film be it a buy to borrow or don't bother this is a buy though you can't buy this aside from with your time for 26 minutes 24 seconds on youtube so search two hours, the short zombie film, watch it, and don't even cheat yourself. You can change the video options. Watch this, uh, click on the gear on the video, and switch that fucker up to HD. You're going to love it. This was, uh, again, I can't get enough of good zombie filmmaking, and I simply love this clip. So treat yourself to 26 minutes of pure digital bliss, <laughs> okay? And then do me a favor, call us on the hotline. Tell us, was she real? Was she from his past? Was she just a metaphor for when things were good? I'm not sure, because I just don't think she's a person, though she's presented that way numerous times in different ways throughout the film, but I think it was more than that. All right, guys, next week I'm doing a Christmas film. Christmas is here. So <laughs> I think it's Santa Claus versus the zombies, I think. I don't know. I've got it. You'll hear it next week. Lord knows. So... You guys have a fantastic uh, shopping uh, weekend ahead of you. I finished my shopping last night. Uh, ugh, thank goodness. So, All right, guys, be good and check this out. Two hours, the short zombie film, not the two hours that McPierce is talking about. He's doing something totally different with two hours this week. This is different. And thanks to, thanks to Daryl for letting me know about this. And whoever let him know, I'm not sure who that was. Thank you so much. Please, please, crew of two hours, the short zombie film, Make a long one. Thanks, guys. Bye.